Hi, this is Mary Schaefer. I want to share with you this new app called the Hemingway app. It is absolutely changing my life around how to write, particularly for the web. I found out about it through Pamela Wilson of the Big Brand System, and uh, I want to share it with you because it's somewhat um, not intuitive about how to use it, though it is so, so powerful. So what I have in front of you here is the landing page for the Hemingway app. You'll see the URL here up in my in my address window. And so Hemingway app tells you what it does for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit edit to give you an example of the kind of things it can do for you. And so highlights long sentences, tell you tells you sentences that are really hard to read, tells you where there are adverbs and words that you might want to make simpler and where you've used the passive voice. It even makes suggestions about what you can do differently. Now the reason I want to show you this is that, um, again, as I said, it's not intuitive to use. And so I had to hit edit there for all of this to come up. What the thing I had had a challenge with is how do I get my own text in there? And so uh, just a point here. You can click inside this box. I'm doing Control A right now, which pretty much universally on any keyboard uh, highlights all the text in that box. And then I'm hitting Delete. And that, that cleans it out, okay? And uh, what I've got here is um, a post that I have already posted um, on uh, the Lead Change Group site. And I wish I had Hemingway first, but this is a great example because it shows you everything I could have improved about this post. And so it's telling me here um, where I have used the passive voice. It's telling me here that I've got a sentence that's really hard to read, um, one that's sort of hard to read, etc. And so then you get to choose how you want to change those things. Um, for instance, with the passive voice, sometimes it's really hard to reword those things and in fact makes it more clunky. So sometimes I just choose to ignore that. Now, I want to show you here about this grade. You would think having a higher quote-unquote grade would be better. But let's look at this. The grade indicates actually the education level needed to understand your text. So a higher grade isn't necessarily better depending on your audience. Grade 6 is good. Uh, you get above grade 10, you might want to be a little concerned about it depending on your audience again. Um, my colleague Isabel Parlett of Parlance Training who is a writer and marketer extraordinaire says aim for the mindset of a bright 12 year old which would be about grade 6 or grade 7 so don't don't worry if your grade is at that level okay um, one thing I want to show you here so we've got all these suggestions it may it made you can choose to or to not do something with that I'm just going to give you an example of what you can do with one like like this one here of those eight downsizings my job is at stake or the other person it says it says that's hard to read and so here's what I did um, before we we started recording here I went ahead and reworded that sentence you notice here right here I've reworded this sentence that they have highlighted in yellow and um, it's not called it out as that, that there's any problem with that. Again, I may or may not choose to write it that way and post it that way, but now you see that if you change it, um, that, that how it will let it go and uh, approve that it's a simple enough sentence. So again, I just wanted to uh, show you how you actually can get your own text in here Again, when you show up at Hemingway, it looks like this. You hit edit, it'll give you examples of what you need to change. Um, I've already put my, 
my post in there. Uh, let me go back to this is what shows up when you get to Hemingway. This is when it, you, you can just write in it. Again, you could do that and just do the control A, the delete, get rid of their text, and just start writing in that. You could use it as your own editor, as the first pass of an editor. Uh, let's see what it says about that. It's, it just tells me there's not enough text there. So in any case, just a little fun with Hemingway and wanting to make sure that you know how you can get your own text in there and make use of this application. Thanks, this is Mary Schaefer.